Saturday, June 3rd, 2017, the official last day of the prep sports in San Diego until the prep pitching report starts on August 25th. Four baseball championship games we happen to have all four, so let's get it started. We start at USD, top seed uh, East Lake, uh, taking on the seven seed Helix for the Open Division title. First inning, Titans, Casey Schmidt hits the two-run bomb just left of the scoreboard, and it opens up the scoring. Fourth inning now, and it's East Lake's Ben Ramirez with a two-run triple that scores Micah Pietla Wiggs and Sonny Rivera Titans lead it big as they go on to win 8-3 and win the Open Division Championship for the first time in school history and third time overall. Um, you know, it's unbelievable. You know, the amount of hard work that we've put in through, you know, these past couple of years, you know, it's it's led up to this. And this is this is family right here. You know, this is what it's all about. And I love these guys. And these are me and my brothers for the rest of my life. Division two championships from USD. San Marcos taking on Santana, top of six. Soldiers Brock Ellis doubles down the left field line, scoring Anders Tolhurst. That gives Santana a 4-2 lead. Bases loaded in the bottom of six. The Knights, Tyler Holmes with a double pass to shallow left fielder, clearing the bases. 5-4 San Marcos. Soldiers down to their last out with a tying run at first. San Marcos, Evan Enicello. Watch him go into foul territory. Mike Milburn, if you're watching, put that up for play of the week. As he makes it to end the game, the final 6-4 Knights is their second straight CAF championship. That moment, my last at bat, I mean, someone to remember my last AB as a high school athlete. We had to come out swinging and come, got to get, come out hot this year and ended up, we ended up being CAF champions. That's all that we can ask for. Well, let's head to UCSD for the D4 championship. Chula Vista facing Classical Academy. Top of four, Classical Academy's Noah Dole doubles to the left. Field wall that brings in two came in runs. Bottom of five now tied at three. Chula Vista's Yo Igua. Chula Vista's Yo Igua with the single inside the foul line brings Amador Medina in with the go ahead run. The final five through Spartans is their first baseball championship. Exciting, close, heart pumping, just blood rushing, just exciting overall. Going into it, we knew we were going to have each other's backs, just every play, just going strong and hard for everyone. Every single one of these guys is just. I'm never going to forget them. Just, they all have a special place in my heart. They're all my brothers. Division 5 championship, Escondido Charter, Maranatha Christian. Top of one, Escondido Charter's Tony Alishman singles to left. That brings home Matthew Burson for a 1-0 lead. Bottom of three now, Maranatha Christian's Mark Hewitt with the uh, second RBI uh, triple. This time to the left field wall, bringing home Byron Smith for a 5-1 lead. And then Zachary Bridger steals third. Watch, and then he would end up coming home for their sixth run of the game. Final 6-3 Maranatha, they win their first CIF baseball title. Hit the ball hard. <laughs> We're all just really hard working. We've all put in our work at our practices, and uh, I feel like we all just played our, to our best of our abilities. You'll be seeing a lot of that in our Little League coverage that we're going to start on Monday. Over at the Del Mar Dog Beach, the third edition of the Mike Whitmarsh Beach Volleyball Tournament, a competition in honor of the late Olympic volleyball star. The festivities including a Legends game involving many of the men and women who played alongside Whitmarsh for many decades. It's so emotional every year, like this time of the year, it's so emotional with, you know, Mike's friends and partners and um, teammates and then the girls playing. And the family just gets choked up and just to see the love and the support from the community, it's really, truly amazing. We wanted to get more involved, so this was a really like good idea because we love beach volleyball so much and it makes sense because he played and loved it, so it's awesome. Among the group of famous faces, former uni standout now Lakers head coach Luke Walton. Last time, well, I'd be able to enjoy stuff for a while because free agency and the NBA draft and they're talking about Lonzo Ball going to the Lakers at number two. Let's just say that Lonzo Ball's dad is a headache. And the great thing for us is uh, whoever we end up picking is going to be really good. Uh, there's, you know, there's four or five players uh, at the top of the draft that uh, we feel are, are you know, game-changing type of players. So we're going to do our due diligence. We're going to bring them all in, interview them all, sit down, see what they're, see what they're about, and then uh, take who we feel like is going to give us the best chance of, uh, of moving forward. Olympian High School hosting the Lineman Challenge where the Giants of the Gridiron are pushing sleds, clearing hurdles, and 
All cumulating with the tug of war, Hilltop and Olympia in your final two, and so Lancer's pulling away victorious among the attendees. 2016 Iron Hog winner Dominic Cadino, the future Aztec, dropping by to share how he turned football into a chance at a higher education. He's like a really good role model for everyone that, that likes football, that wants to play football, because nobody could just, nobody could be slacking. Just fun overall. Uh, it's great to get out here, be with linemen of your own kind. It's fun. That's all I gotta say. Semifinal action for the USTA Hardcore Championships at Morley Field. 15-year-old Brandon Nakashima taking on two-time CIF champion Keegan Smith. Smith showing off the nice drop shot, winning the first set 6-3. Nakashima would battle back in the second set to a tiebreaker and then watch Smith as he's aiming for Matt Gilson behind the camera. Almost gets him, but he advances to Sunday's final, not before the Point Loma Pointer senior takes care of some other business before. First, I got uh, doubles with my buddy Billy. He's playing in the semis right now. And then I also have mixed doubles, so I've got two more matches today. And then I actually have prom tonight, so that should be interesting. Don't want to get back too late. Got to be ready for tomorrow. The last couple four days have been just like super f kind of like focused and intense, so it'll be nice to loosen up a little bit, get on the dance floor. 